a new show on ABC tonight from uh, the creator of uh, uh, Big Little Lies and so much more. He, he's David E. Kelly. He's been uh, the king of television for, so, for a long time. Um, it airs tonight, 10 Eastern, on ABC every Tuesday night from uh, here on out. Uh, it's called Big Sky, and uh, it's about, um, from what I'm understanding, well, I don't want to front load it too much, so I'll ask my next guest if it is, in fact, what you look up at uh, after the latest Philadelphia Eagles uh, game uh, does not go your way and you're staring and looking at something, trying to think of something beautiful. Ryan Phillippe joining me here on the show. Is that what it's about, Ryan? My, my friend, who I haven't <laughs> spoken to in so long, wants to start off the conversation by just punching a, gut, a sucker punch. No! Dude, no! That, listen, <laughs> just... it's, it's been a year of frustration and futility among the many things that I've missed now from a societal <laughs> sense when the Eagles actually used to put together a, a, fo- a credible football team. Um, this game against the Giants, you know, the lead up to it was Lane Johnson's coming back. We got yes. Alshon Jeffrey on the field. Our first round pick, Jalen Riegers. They looked abysmal, just flat. And and as an avid football watcher and fan, mm-hmm. you can't – there are certain irrefutable fundamental things that if they are not fixed, you will not improve. And I see too many of those to, like, allow myself to be affected emotionally at this point. <laughs> See, this is the way I wanted to start it, Ryan, just to mix things up and say hello, by the way. Um, yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Um, but also, because I know you're you're probably doing uh, a lot of interviews or tours to promote Big Sky and yeah. can't really get your uh, something off your chest about Wentz with, you know, Access Hollywood and things like that. And, so, and also, it's it's <laughs> let's be honest, it's fun for both you and your audience to hear <laughs> a miserable fan of another franchise. We won't even get into the Jets. Um, oh gosh! I think the whole, the whole team has mono this season. Well, um, <laughs> well, here, well, there's there's a lot of O's, that's for sure, um, and it's under the W column, unfortunately. Or yeah. as I said before, we're, we're we've come so far, we've come so far, but we're also that much closer to Trevor Lawrence. That much closer. Yeah. Got to complete yeah. the job. Got to finish the job. And I yeah. think and I think they are Ryan with the with the. Uh, the, well, Sam's going to give it a whirl. No, well, we're just going to keep him out. We want to make sure he's 100% healthy before he returns, and hopefully he will not be 100% healthy for his sake and for the, the sake of the franchise, in my estimation. <laughs> and I feel horrible That's saying cold. that. I feel horrible <laughs> saying that, but it's true. I have arrived at the thank God for fantasy football portion of my season. <laughs> um, you know, I still have moderate success in that realm. I went three and I have three teams. I went three and zero this weekend, so I'm going to ride that high. Well, before we get to that, though, uh, Ryan Phillippe here on the Rich Eisen Show, let's not give up hope here because, as you know, uh, in from sure uh, having. Uh, uh, purchased houses and rented places in your entire life of uh, being mm-hmm. an actor. Um, real estate is all about location, and and the location that the the Eagles are in is first place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the NFC East is first place. So there's not even part of you, yeah. like as you know, when you're, it's gearing up Philadelphia at Cleveland this coming week, that this may be the moment where it actually does turn, and they actually start playing like a division leader. You don't think you, there's not even that part of you. Hey, Ryan? at some point, someone's going to win the ugliest date contest. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, you know, somebody's got to come out of that trash heap and, and I guess represent the division. But, you know, I, I don't know. I just I'm so frustrated. I think the Giants are looking good. I think that, yes. that the way they move the ball and they've got some young defensive players that are starting to emerge, I, you know. I don't think that uh, it's a it's a direct path for the Eagles, especially after what I've been seeing lately. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.